designing and implementing experiential learning through multimedia-based activities and blogging in asynchronous online courses. Do you want your students to go through direct experience to develop their knowledge, skills, and values outside of the traditional classroom? Experiential learning is a student-centered approach. Our example is how experiential learning created an asynchronous online environment. This video will guide you through the design of experiential learning and we will share ideas of how you can implement this approach in your classes, whether it's face-to-face -face or online. All learning activities and assignments in this practice are designed on the key principles of experiential learning, which is learning by doing. The course included the following activities and assignments. Online discussions, peer review, safe assign, peer voting activity, and publication. The practice used was Cobb's four-stage cycle of experiential learning, which accommodates conditions under which learners learn better. When we look at the first stage of the cycle, which is the concrete experience or feeling stage, we used the very practical assignment in which students had to go to an art exhibit to review a piece of work. The next stage in Cobb's cycle of experiential learning is reflective observations, which can also be called watching. At this stage, students learn better when presented with theories to consider. In our case, is the authentic instructional videos of how-to and online discussions that were produced specifically for this course. The objective in producing these videos was to take students on a journey to experience the learning process itself. So rather than just explain through PowerPoint suggestions or tips, we brought in experts in the various fields and had them talk about what was important to them. The next stage in a four cycle of experiential learning is abstract conceptualization, which is also called thinking. Students at this stage learn better when provided with practical application of concepts and theories. Writing drafts of critical reviews for real audiences and doing peer reviews helped to accomplish this goal. The last stage in a four cycle of experiential learning is active experimentation, which is called doing. Students at this stage learn better when provided with hands-on experience. In our case, publishing was the experience. The website features art reviews, television reviews, film reviews, and musical reviews. Lastly, the best way to sum up the success of this approach to the online course is an emailed feedback from a recent student. It is one of those qualitative feedback responses that all teachers hope to receive from time to time.